Hey guys, today I'm gonna tell you about how I became confident in English within a year. I have just started learning English, especially in speaking when I was in the military. It was on the 25th of July 2019. Back then, I just came across the video about how different between can and could are on YouTube. I was shocked that what I have learned was wrong in the first place. I thought could is the best version of can but it turns out not. I was released into that video because I realized that I wanted to know the difference between what I have learned in my entire life and the real English itself. I mean, I have no idea about English culture or anything that has to do with English. In Korea, when we were growing up, we just learned how to read English or to mark multiple choices in a test. Which means we did not have any chances of learning English like as talking or having a conversation with others in the first place. Personally, I don't like the way our education has been working because I've seen a lot of people who are not that good at English even though they got into such highly prestigious universities in Korea. Additionally, through a bunch of language exchange apps, I knew really shocking information from other foreigners that Koreans are not good at English even though they graduated from the major in English literature. Therefore, I have been thinking a lot about why Korean people are not good at English in the first place and which so I figured out that most of them haven't learned English that much as they might have thinking. Ever since I felt comfortable with using English, and I've been listening to other language learners from all around the world, I figured out that a lot of foreigners also have a hard time learning uh, Korean. They talked to me a lot about why they felt insecure and asked me to give them some advice on learning languages. They told me that they are comparing with how good others are and felt bad about themselves. I am not 100% sure that whether am I good at comforting others or not, yet every time that I gave my personal experiences and advice to them, they seemed to feel better. From all my own experiences, I want to help other people through my thought and others' thoughts. Because I've been always thinking that the best way to be a valuable person is to help others by using my knowledge. I know there are specialists out there in the world. Nevertheless, I don't really care about that. Uh, I don't really care about them that much and they are just who they are. If you think you are not good enough than others and have been struggling with dealing with your low self-esteem, I'd recommend you to feel the feeling that you have. I mean, like you can feel anxiety, insecurity, nervous, something like that. But rather than just ignoring that kind of feeling, I'd recommend you to feel that anxiety, insecurity, nervous itself. It's not bad per se. Just feel it and let it go. It's a common thing that all human beings can get at some point of their lives. You might be thinking, why this guy's talking about comparing and self-esteem? Here's the thing, I'd say that kind of feeling have a lot of things to do with learning languages because back then when I just started learning English, I was so embarrassed to make a single mistake on my sentence. I was like, what if they think that I'm not good enough to talk to them and start avoiding me? What if I make a mistake and they make fun of me? Stuff like that. And you know what? 
It happened. I was trying to approach foreigners and talk with them. However, they didn't even understand what I was saying, which made me so, which made me feel so bad about myself. That was the time that I felt stuck in learning English. My self-esteem dropped like under like into the deep sea. I was so insecure about it. But though I changed my mind, this is a fair game. Because a native speaker can speak well since they were like two or three, I guess. So that means I just started learning English and it has been only one or two months. Who cares? I'm a fetus and a baby when it comes to learning languages. From then, I started enjoying the process of learning it. I've been doing many other ways of learning languages. So to wrap it up, the way I see it, you should not be afraid of making mistakes when it comes to learning languages. You can revise your sentences after you had a conversation with others. You would be so embarrassed about mistakes that you made from this conversation and you may have could never forget about it. If I hadn't made a bunch of mistakes, I wouldn't have been able to help others and take this video. This is my personal experience that I had for the last one year and I hope you guys could get the most out of this video. Thank you for thank you so much for watching my video and if you have any other questions feel free to leave a comment below. You can do it. We can all do it. Thank you.